Can you show me your Zumba movements? Release. And shake together. Girl? I don't know. I think girl. Male. Maybe a singer? I'm thinking either it's a dancer, <laughs> theater, or filmmaking. Hello, Colleen! Hi, Sanders! Hi! Hi! Don't say anything. Let's watch this first, okay? I'm Lisa Makuha Elizalde, and these are my secrets. Is your instrument. The more in shape your body is, then the better your instrument is for your art. So you have to find that and commit to it and try to find the highest standards of performance of something you love. Ngayon, kilala mo na ako at kung ano yung ginagawa ko. Yes. <laughs> what in why did you become the ballet? You know, when I was a little girl, my mom was the first person who actually mentioned that, you know, she danced ballet when she was younger, and then she had to stop dancing ballet because of a ruling by the Roman Catholic Church deemed it a sin to continue to dance ballet for girls studying in um, Catholic schools. So when she had me, I'm the second child, first girl. She sort of like introduced me to my first ballet lessons and enrolled me in ballet school. I was your age nung nag-umpisa akong mag-take ng ballet lessons sa St. Teresa's College School of Dance. I was almost nine also nung una akong nag -ballet. Did you feel like when you first went and doing tiptoes, like, ah, how did you do this thing? <laughs> when, you, when you start training in ballet, that's basically the first aspiration of young ballet dancers, is to finally, finally be able to get their first pair of point shoes and go on point. But you actually need to train in ballet for, I think, about three, four years before you actually go on point. Is doing ballet hard? Siyempre, sa umpisa, mahirap. Pero there comes a time naman na all of that practice, you know, lahat ng exercises na ginagawa mo araw-araw, kasi parang nami-memorize na ng katawan mo kung ano yung kailangan gawin. And you become stronger. As long as you don't get out of shape by not practicing every day. But you know, my philosophy in life has always been no pain, no gain. Do boys do more ballet or girls do more ballet? You know, curiously, ballet began as an art form that was only practiced by men in the 16th century in Italy and in France. The main dancers, ballet dancers, were men. Why? Because the men were able to wear pants and were able to move their feet and their legs more than the females. And then uh, it evolved into a woman's art form, as most especially when the female dancers could already wear shorter skirts, they could wear tights, and then they started to go on point. Dance po, have you ever experienced nadada pa or nasasaktan? Naku, madaming beses. <laughs> I remember yung first performance ko ng Giselle sa Russia. Ginagawa ko yung solo variation ni Giselle sa Act 1. And I was hopping on point. Out of nowhere, na napaupo ako. And... <laughs> Hindi ko alam ko ano nangyari, pero automatic tumayo ako kaagad tapos nagpatuloy ng pagsasayaw. And there was one time sa Romeo and Juliet, tumalon ako tapos 
na, na, nadulas, nadulas ako sa landing, sumalpak talaga ako sa sahig. <laughs> Kahit I remember, nasaktan ako doon. Pero the show must go on. So that's where you really learn how to pick yourself up and, you know, have the presence of mind and focus to go back into character and continue as if nothing happened. How much do you earn for being a ballet dancer? <laughs> Not very much. <laughs> Again, it varies. If you're a professional ballet dancer in Europe or in the United States, you probably earn a lot more than if you're a professional ballet dancer in the Philippines or in around Asia or even in Russia for that matter. I think now it's your time, Colleen, to try and do some ballet steps. Are you game? Yes, but yeah. definitely game. Put your thumb near the line, the first line of your middle finger. Yes, that's your ballerina hand. Hands a little closer, yes, all right. So this is now first position of the feet and first position of your arms. Now let's go to second position. Open that arm wider but still keep it nice and round. Make your hands lower than your shoulders. Yeah, that is, this is second position. Your heel in front of your big toe and try to touch your little toe to your other heel. So you're crossing, yes? And then put your arms up. This is now fifth position of your hands and fifth position of your feet. I think I should master more of this. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Anong klase ng sayaw mas familiar ka? I think po I'm good at Zumba as long as I copy it. Can you show me your Zumba movements? Release. And shake together. Shake together. Okay. All right. Okay, let's do it faster. What is your advice for us little kids when we want to dance ballet? Okay, my advice is, number one, always make a decision that you want to become a ballet dancer as early in life as you can. Because you really have to start training at a very young age. Number two, go to a very good qualified teacher that will be able to teach you how to dance ballet well. And number three, work very hard and be ready to make the sacrifices necessary and feel the pain necessary to be able to become good at ballet dancing. Goodbye po. Thank you very much. I've learned a lot today po. Thank you for your advice and thank you for coming. You're welcome. Keep on dancing. One, One two, three, shake. Three, shake. Then and the other, One, two, eight. Three. Shake and four, cross. Two, that. three, and shake.